y'all and welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to be having a very productive day i have a wig to make and ship out today so i'm gonna take you guys to the post office with me so i can show you how i ship my orders out i have a sponsorship video to work on so just pretty much like a two-in-one type of video if you are a youtuber and you get sponsorships or if you're looking to build your channel to that point where you can get sponsorships i'm gonna show you how i kind of work behind the scenes to get my sponsorships knocked out as well as do like the regular content that I produce as well. It's going to be just a very productive type of day. So hopefully I can get everything all in this one vlog and pretty much show you guys how I get my work done. So throw this video on and find some work to do or that work that you've been putting off all day. Get it done while you're watching this video or while this video is just playing in the background. We could just both be productive together. All right, so first what I like to do when it comes to my sponsorship, I like to make sure that my hair is freshly washed and conditioned so it's not dirty. I can get the style done with ease and we don't have no issue. So I got food cooking in the oven and this should be done by the time I'm done with everything. Okay, so starting out, what I like to do is I like to get the hair that the company sent me and pretty much just lay it all out just so I can record my video. Pretty much just introducing the hair. So once I get started, I'm not trying to go back and show you guys what the hair looks like. You already pretty much had the visual in the beginning, right? Kind of putting it up so I can start styling my hair. So this is just like one part of the sponsorship that's just out of the way. You don't have to worry about. All right. So first, what I like to do when it comes to my wigs. Now today we're going to be making a headband wig. If you sew on the headband first, and this is just flipped down so it doesn't get all that chalk on it, and so I can sew the tracks on. But if you make your head, if you sew on your headband first and your straps, it will cut your time. So all you have left to do is sew on your tracks and put your combs in. Now, I usually put three combs, two in the front and one in the back. And I'll be pretty much done once the tracks are on. Also, I like to make sure I have enough thread for my bobbin so that i'm not stopping in between so what i did ahead of time was i threaded the bobbins i got at least three bobbins threaded so it will not slow me down all right so the unit is done now i'm just gonna style her pack it up and get ready to have her shipped to her new owner she's cute though all right, so now that I have the wig packaged up, I'm gonna go ahead and print my shipping label from home. Now I do have an inkjet printer and one of these, but this is probably my favorite because I don't have to buy printer ink and it just connects directly to my computer and prints right away. So I will show you guys right now. All right, and there you have it. And this back side is sticky. So you could just stick it onto your package. Now that the package is all sealed up, I can go ahead and put on a cute little sticker. You already pay for your shipping at home, so that makes the job way easier. All right, so now I am headed to go and drop off the package. Well, me and Zora are headed to go drop off the package. Or say hey. Hi. <laughs> Alright, so once we drop this package off, if the scanner is working when I get there, I'll show you guys how you can scan your packages in and get your tracking information and your receipt. 
if you do have a small business or if you do just run a business it doesn't have to be a small business all right y'all let's go in Right, we're going to tap, scan, prepaid label, read that, and confirm. All right, continue. And then enter a scan. Chicago. This down here. Okay. Now scan it. All right, then it's going to say print. Resume. Alright, I'm always pressing buttons, so. Alright, you all grab them. Alright, and you just put your package in. Alright, y'all, so that's pretty much the process. Then you get your receipt, and the receipt is going to have the shipping information when you shipped it out, and the tracking information that you can give to your customers, so. Yeah, once you're done with that, then you can just drop it in the box and you're good to go. So, yeah, I just got a notification from Carmen School saying that somebody at the school got COVID. So, they're saying that she wasn't in close contact with this person and she doesn't need to quarantine at home, but just to monitor her. And I'm assuming they're sending this message to all the parents. But at the same time, I'm just like... I really don't know what the plan is for the schools when it comes to like the in-person school because I don't know it just seems like the kids are still getting it they're still spreading it they're still bringing it to school the teachers are still getting it still spreading it still bringing it to school so I just don't see it being a thing where the in-person school just lasts long because I just don't know and I'll be scared for Zora to go to school because you know the little kids they don't know to keep their masks on all day Zora will have her mask on for about five to ten minutes and then she's done with it I do make sure that I wear my mask everywhere that I go even though I'm not out in the streets like that all the time I make sure I got a mask on if I'm around people I got a mask on I don't care Alright guys, so now it's time for me to film my content. Now this is my sponsorship. I have my hair right here that I'm going to be using. What I like to do before I film a sponsorship, I like to have all of my hair set up, ready to go. I like to separate it if it's hair like this. So that when I'm filming, it doesn't take me a long time and I can just continue to move throughout the process. So I'll just show you guys what the hair looks like. I can't do any tutorials for you, but this is what we are going to be working with. All right, so I will take this, I will separate it into the pieces that I'm going to be using. And yeah, just get that laid out so the video can be nice, quick, and easy. And at the end, we'll have a full hairstyle and we could just rest. Content like this usually takes the bulk of the day, especially if you're doing like braids or twists or locks, like anything like that. It'll take up a lot of your time if you're trying to film. So it's best to be prepared ahead of time and just have everything where you can reach it so you don't have to get up and move around and you can get the content knocked out. Now, if you are a YouTuber and you're doing sponsored content, Make sure you get that done first before you do any of your personal content, any of the stuff that you want to do. Make sure you get the stuff that has to be done, done first. So that way all of your videos are quick and easy to do because it's pretty much what you want to do at the end of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I helped you a lot. I hope I gave you some good advice. I hope you were productive today. If you want to see what style I do with this hair, turn your notifications on, hit the subscribe button so you will know when I am posting the video. Bye. Bye.